We have looked at the rules for adding positive and negative numbers. If we add a positive number, we're actually adding it, it's just normal addition. And if we are adding a negative number, we're actually subtracting that number. Hmm, okay, well, today our learning intention is that we are learning to subtract positive and negative numbers. Similarly to adding positive and negative numbers, we have got some rules which we need to follow to make sure that we're onto the right thing. Our first rule is that if we subtract a positive number, we actually are subtracting it. That's just regular subtraction. That's what we've been doing this whole time. When we are subtracting a negative number in rule two, we're actually adding it. That's a bit strange. Why is that? Well, let's use this example. Say your friend has lended you $8. So you owe your friend $8. You actually then have negative $8. The money that you, you need to pay that back. That's money that you don't yet have that you need to give back to your friend. Uh, your friend is feeling very kind though. And your friend takes away some of that debt. So they forgive $3 of your debt. So he's actually taken away some of your debt. That's what he's done. So he's actually subtracted some of your debt and your debt is a negative number. So what this looks like as a maths problem is negative $8 minus negative $3. He has taken away some of your debt. He's forgiven it. He says, don't worry, just pay me back for some of it now. And so we can work this out. So this turns into a plus. These two negative signs, when we see these next to each other, that actually turns into an addition sign. A little bit strange, I know. And so now we can work this out. So we are adding $3 to negative $8. It might be more helpful if we have a number line to help us to visualize this process. So I'm going to remove our friends. Actually, no, I'll remove our friends descriptions here. We, we already remember what happened there. So we've got our number line, zeros in the middle. To the left, we've got negative. To the right, we've got positive numbers. Okay, so uh, let's work this out. So let's find negative eight on our number line. So negative eight is over here. Negative eight dollars, of course. And we want to add Three. So we're moving to the right three jumps. We are not going to the left. That would be making this value smaller, which we're not. We're making it bigger. So even though it looks like a smaller number, we have to remember we've got a negative sign. And so actually the larger this number is, the smaller it is when we've got a negative sign there. So we need to add three. One, two, three. So now you have negative five dollars, which is more money than you had before, though you still have less than zero dollars. So let's try this problem. Negative five minus negative seven. Okay, now I need to check my rules. So we're using rule two here. So when we are subtracting a negative number, we're actually adding. So I'm seeing these two subtract signs next to each other. So that is actually going to be, I'm actually gonna add these numbers together. So I'm actually adding negative five and seven. Okay, so I've dealt with these. I don't actually need to worry about those anymore. So I'm adding seven. So what does this look like? Let's draw a number line to visualize it. Okay, so we've got zero in the middle. To the left, we've got smaller numbers. To the right, we've got larger numbers. Okay, so let's find negative five, which is here. So negative five. And now I need to add seven. So I'm just gonna jump one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so adding is always going to the right. And now we've got two. So the solution here is two. That's the difference between negative five and negative seven. Let's try another one. Let's try negative 12 minus eight. Okay, so I'm actually now subtracting a positive, so I need to check this rule. When I'm subtracting a positive, it's just subtracting. But I'm gonna draw a number line because we do need to be a little bit careful here because you might be tempted to go, oh, 12 minus eight is four. Our answer is not four, nor is it negative four. And I'll show you why in just a second. So I've got a number line here, zero in the middle, negative numbers to the left, positive numbers to the right. Notice how they're kind of like a mirror of each other, but this side have got negative signs because they are less than zero. That negative sign just means we're less than zero. Let's find negative 12. 
that is this one. So negative 10, negative 11, negative 12. Now I want to subtract eight. So I'm subtracting a positive, which is subtraction, just regular subtraction. So I'm moving from right to left. I'm getting smaller. When we head across this way along our number line, we are getting smaller. So I'm going to jump, make eight jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that has landed me here on negative 20. So my solution here to negative 12 minus eight is negative 20. Now, if you thought that we were going to subtract eight from 12 and get to negative four, well, that would actually be adding. And we're not adding because we are subtracting a positive number. We need, so we need to subtract it, which means going from right to left. That's something which trips a lot of people up when we're talking about subtracting with negative numbers. That's something we need to be really, really careful about. Let's try a word of problem. It was 15 degrees during the day and for negative three degrees overnight. What was the difference in temperature? Okay, so I need to work out the difference. And when we talk about difference, we are meaning subtraction. We're always talking about minus or subtraction when we see difference. We're working out what's in between the two numbers. We can work this out with a subtraction problem. And so we're going to do that. We're going to look at, so we're starting on, we've got 15, and then we want to find the difference. So we're subtracting. What are we subtracting? Negative five, three. Negative three. So this double negative here turns into a positive. So I can not worry about those anymore. So I'm just adding 15 to three, which is 18 degrees, of course, because we're talking about degrees. Um, why? That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? If we're minusing three, we're, we're not minusing three, we're minusing negative three, which is actually adding three. Let me show you on a number line what this actually looks like. Okie dokie. So I've, I've not given myself quite enough space with my camera, but that's okay. So I've got the, imagine these are all degrees. I have not put zero bang in the middle. These arrows here tell me that this goes on forever and ever. So it's essentially still in the middle, but I am just skewing it slightly this way. So I have got zero here. I've got negative five and I've got up to, gone up to 15 or a little bit further than that. If you count these dashes here, let's work out what the difference is here. So let's find the original temperatures. So negative three, let's mark negative three on this graph. So going backwards from zero, negative one, negative two, negative three is here. So that's negative three. And I wanna find 15, which I've already marked as 15 is here. Okay, now I want to find the difference. And we know that to find the difference, we could do some jumping. And so I'm going to do that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna count for now every single one just to demonstrate that my calculations here is correct and that when we subtract a negative number we get a positive because we're finding the difference we're finding the gap between these two numbers that's all we're doing when we're finding the difference so let's do that so we need to so we need to count we're just counting at the moment how much is in between because that's still finding the difference we're going to come to the same answer though let me show you so we count the first jump one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I've made 18 little jumps there. And the difference is 18 degrees. With these kinds of numbers, thinking about it with a number line, if you just draw out a number line, mark out every five or so, it depends on how big a number you're working with, it can be really helpful to help you visualize these problems because this is something which a lot of people have trouble with when we start dealing with positive and negative numbers. But today in this video, we have looked at the rules for subtracting positive numbers and subtracting negative numbers.